Hello, viewers. Okay, so the poem that I read for my English project was Bells for John Whiteside's Daughter by John Co. Ransom. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just read stanza by stanza and um, analyze it, kind of break it down. Um, then I'll generalize it and we'll talk about modernism and how I think this poem um, represents modernism writing. So the first stanza reads, There was such a speed in her little body, and such lightness in her footfall. It is no wonder her brown study astonishes us all. So I had to do a little research to uh, make sure I fully understood what this was saying, and a brown study means like depression, or like getting lost, like in a mental state. So basically, you have this little girl such speed in her little body so she's energetic she's fun she's just like a normal kid but then she goes into her brown study or her depression which is surprising to everyone because that's not her normal personality her wars were brooded in our high window we looked among orchard trees and beyond where she took arms against her shadow or hurried onto the pond so her wars were brooded in our high window brooded means like rumor sort of like news so her wars like her inner wars were rumors to our high window which I'm assuming is like um, a higher state of mind so maybe like normal um, where she took arms against her shadow so maybe where she like tried to defend herself or like fix herself um, kind of battle against her the inner wars her shadow going on in her life or harried unto the pond. Harried is like disruption, um, causing chaos, which kind of ties into the next stanza. The lazy geese, like a snowy cloud, dripping their snow on the green grass, trickling and stopping, sleepy and proud, who cried and grew goose, alas. So this kind of just, I picture um, a flock of geese, a gaggle of geese, just chilling out by the pond, you know, they're just minding their own business, just doing their geese thing. Um, it's just like describing what they're doing, they're peaceful, they're just minding their own business. Who cried in goose, alas. This ties into the next stanza, um, which the reader has to remember, they cried in goose, has to make you think like, um, like they're crying out loud, but obviously not like we are because they're geese, so they're honking or whatever. For the tireless heart within the little lady, with rod that made them rise, from their noon apple dreams and scuttle, goose fashion under the skies. So what I picture is this little girl who is in her brown study now. She obviously still has a little fire in her, her tireless heart. I picture her running down to the pond, causing chaos with these geese, like scaring them. And they're in their goose fashion, goose fashion, under the sky. So they're like flying away. They're freaked out. But now go the bells and we are ready. In one house we are sternly stopped. To say we are vexed at her brown study, lying so primly propped. Okay, so that was the last stanza of the poem. And I think at this point um, the reader can assume that the little girl is either dead lying supremely propped I just picture just it's horrible but I picture this, this little girl died maybe she drowned in the pond or something she went down there and to take arms against her shadow she killed herself she drowned maybe it was too much for it um, but all these people I mean the vibe is sad they're ready. They're saying that they're vexed at her depression. They're really surprised that this little girl who was once so happy and energetic, that this happened to her. If she's not dead, I think she is just in the state of mind for forever. It's just become her now. Like she's changed. Um, so how this ties along with modernism. Modernism can be described like the style of writing as like disillusionment, um, dislocation of meaning, sense, things like that, which 
if I understand it correctly, I think could go along with this poem because it talks about not being in like the right state of mind, sort of. Like the little girl went to into her brown study, which is disillusionment from the world, I and mean, she just went into her own little her own little world inside of her mind with all of the battles she was facing with herself. So I think that can be a good example of modernism, and also because I've never really read a poem like this before. It's kind of odd, or interesting, might be a better word. And modernism was a time when a new style of writing was coming out. Um, people weren't writing the same as they used to, so maybe that could be it. It could just be my ignorance of poetry, but that's how I tie that in with modernism. So I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching.